Hey, everybody, this is Kelly Schwartz with Schwartz Consulting Group. I am happy to introduce to you tonight uh, Mr. Chris Thompson, who is the Vice President of Sales for Peer Logic. Um, Peer Logic is a company that now is also partnered with Dental Intel. One of the great things it does is its voice, VoIP uh, phones. A lot of people are using it to replace Weave, a little less expensive, but has a lot of great new services that I'm here tonight to learn along with you and with Chris. Um, and so I am going to, with not a lot of fanfare, introduce you to Chris Thompson. Chris, go ahead and take us away and share with us why would I switch from whatever phone systems that I have to yours? And what can your product and services do that benefit our practice in capturing new patient growth, phone calls, et cetera? You so. it. <laughs> Kelly, thanks for having me on. Uh, great to see everyone virtually uh, on this webinar. Um, really have been wowed by uh, Schwartz Consulting Group. So I know offices watching this are, are really the, the best in class. So yeah, um, Kelly, we are a, uh, what I like to say, a voice powered AI company. So we do offer VoIP service, but we can also link with most other phone providers out there. But what we'll talk about today more than anything is our AI product. So uh, when you think about your basic phone system and what everyone has now, there's simple call tracking, potentially some call recordings. Uh, a lot of these companies will tell you uh, how many calls you missed. And, and that's valuable because a lot of offices just miss calls. But where we're able to tell you um, more than anything is what happened on those calls. So you're able to get to what's going on in the office very quickly, very minimal clicks, and it's all driven through AI. So we all know AI is a hot topic in the world, in the industry. We are fully AI automated. At no point in what I show you today does any human listen to a call or score a call. This is all done through AI that has been trained only on dental calls. So Kelly, one thing I love to say is we've listened to over 20 million minutes of dental calls only. Um, so pretty amazing. If, if it's happened on a dental call, good, bad, ugly, pretty, we've probably heard it. Um, but our AI models get smarter as time goes on. So more accurate every call that comes in. Um, Kelly, I'll, I'll share my screen here right now so I can, I can show everyone what it looks like, if you don't mind. Okay. All right. Let me just share this real quick. And we are out of lovely Scottsdale, uh, Arizona, which is very hot right now. If anyone wants to come visit, please, please let us know. <laughs> um, Bring the ice, right? That's right. Yeah. So I'll talk, I, I won't bore everyone on this webinar with slides. We'll go through them pretty quick, but want to just give a little background as to why we created what we created. And um, right now, as everyone knows in, in the market, there's uh, things going on in the dental world um, that are changing rapidly. Uh, so one is it's a very competitive world. There's there's dentists on every corner, and a lot of dentists have gotten into new technology, marketing, staying out more hours. Like they're listening to Kelly's advice, and it's working, but it's becoming more competitive. Uh, as everyone knows on this call, consumers are evolving. So your typical patient that was super loyal uh, now is in the you know feed me now, don't wait in line generation. But also we're seeing on our calls, COVID changed a lot of things. Our cancellations are up 30 to 40%. Uh, you know, the, the way consumers interact with their professionals uh, and their offices is, is drastically different than when it was a year ago, way different than five years ago. It's a very crowded marketing space. How do you stand out? Uh, it's either expensive. How do you get, you know, new patients into your office? One of the things we say at Peer Logic is every interaction matters. And what we do with our technology is we measure inbound calls, outbound calls, existing patient calls, and new patient calls. So we're measuring 100% of the calls that are coming into your practice, which gives you a very good gauge on what's going on, what's happening. And the beauty is you don't have to search through 400 call recordings to see what's going on. So Chris, just to kind of break that down, when you say you're tracking, if I'm missing calls between 5 and 6 p.m. or 12 to 1 with lunch, you're going to tell us how many calls we're missing. Will we also know the numbers and so forth of the patients or the customers? I'll do you one better. So uh, that this is one of our claims to fame is our alerts package, which right here you see that actionable alert. So through our AI algorithm, when you miss a call, we're not only able to tell you the call that missed, because we link to your practice management system and we have a pretty cool algorithm on the phone systems, we can tell you with very high certainty whether or not we believe that new new uh, that missed call is a new patient call. So let's say Dr. Schwartz got 100 missed calls. 
typically we'll see 40 or 50 of those are new patient calls. We can scrub out business numbers. We can scrub out existing patients in your database. And we give you rapid alerts for those new patients to get them. And we see time and time again, if you have a rapid response team or if you text the patient with your online scheduling book, you're typically getting about 10 new patients a month just from that service alone. So Kelly, one of the things I love about our tool is it's just not an analytics tool. It's an actionable insights tool. So we aim to provide the practices with things to do to capture new patients, alerts to capture new patients, what we call winbacks to capture new patients, which I'll show everyone here in a couple of minutes. But this is not a tool where you log in and then you check it when you want. This is a tool that will give you alerts, a lot of a lot around new patient opportunities where you can follow up very quickly and track your ROI very easily. So if I wanted, and I'm, you know, I'm learning this along with everybody else today, but for example, let's say my office closes at five o'clock or we're not open on Saturdays. But if if I'm understanding you correctly, if a call comes in at 5.30 or on a Saturday afternoon, I'm going to get an alert that, hey, you just missed a potential new patient call. And then my team could make that call and schedule them using dental intel or local med or something of that nature and capture that patient right then and there, or even shoot them a quick email. Hey, we know we missed your call, that kind of thing. That's it. So we call it the rapid response team. So great example, Saturday, five o'clock, you're closed. No one's in the office. New patient calls in. I don't know why they would call it, but they do call on the weekends quite a bit, right? Yeah. Um, when they're free. Right. It's when they're free or nighttime, a lot of nighttime, a lot of lunch hours, as we all know. Whoever you designate in the office, when you miss that call, which we deem a new patient call, will get an email and a text. They can choose. A lot of people pick text. Boom, they get the text. We also can send through Medento with Dental Intel a text to the new patient uh, saying, hey, sorry, we missed your call. We're not open. Click the book here. So super easy for the patient. And the cool part about that is we can scrub out a business number. Like if we know it's a VoIP provider or a business listing in the, in the system and they're calling your office, you're not going to get alert for that. You're not going to have to ruin your Saturday trying to call that business back. So we can very well, like most of the offices we work with, we can tell you very easily after a week's worth of data, how many new patient missed calls we think you're missing with a 90% plus certainty. So it's a really cool feature. That's great. Now, obviously the other one, we can give you insights on every call. So let's say I called Dr. Schwartz. I'm calling about Invisalign, for example. I'm an existing patient and I'm curious on the cost. We don't have to use a human to figure that out. We can tell you, Chris Thompson, existing patient, called about Invisalign, did not book because of cost, maybe needs a follow-up or did book because, or did book because they were looking at Invisalign, all done through AI with no human interaction. So you can very easily find out your high dollar ticket items. You can track your marketing insights. I know Luke is near and dear to your heart where you can attach it to your campaign numbers. So again, a holistic view of the practice, every call that's coming in all analyzed by AI. But I think most importantly is we are providing you the insights to act on it. This is not a passive a tool tool. This is a tool where your staff will interact a lot with. The alerts alone is, is really where they can get a lot of new patients coming in. So if an existing patient calls up and said, hey, this is Kelly. I was wondering, you know, I, I need this crown taken care of how much they're going to cost. This system's going to tell me that Kelly called about a crown right yeah. away. Yeah. So the beauty there is most softwares like ours will only track new patients and inbound calls. Those are great. You know, that's that's where marketing spends their dollars to come in. You want to attract new patients. We track those, but we also track every interaction with an existing patient because a lot of times they are calling about crowns or the cost of Invisalign or you name it. Like they want to add a new service and you got to take care of those people too. You've got to keep them. So in that situation, Kelly, let's say you called about the cost of a crown. You maybe didn't like your answer or maybe the staff didn't handle it. They were overwhelmed. We would flag that as a high value lost opportunity. Same thing. Anyone in your, some, someone you designate in your practice can get that alert and say, hey, existing patient, high value lost opportunity. Let's call them and book them. And what we're finding is when someone in that office, TC, office manager, one of your great staff members calls them back and says, hey, Kelly, saw you called about the cost of a crown. You know, we're offering a promotion or, you know, let me just walk you through some of how, some of how the cost breaks down or it's actually not that bad monthly. You you guys know the scripting better than me and book. We find that they're booking those people about 60 to 70 percent of the time. Now, most often, whether it's new or existing patient in that case, those patients always go to the wind. Either they don't get the treatment, they wait to their next follow up where it's typically gotten worse or 
a lot of times they're calling into the practice to price shop when you could have kept that patient. So all of those examples, we flag, we alert, and you can very easy, like one of the things that's super easy is you can get to that call recording, which I'll show you here in a second in transcript so easily and quickly. Many offices we talk to say, hey, I do some call recordings, but I've got to listen to like 300 of them to find a call I want. You can get to any call in your practice in two clicks or less, and you'll have the full read with insights, with call sentiment, everything in there. So it's really cool to identify the areas that you really need to focus on. That's great. Now I'll, I'll switch to the demo here, Kelly, because I know that's that's what we all want to see. Um, just making sure you can see my screen is, is the uh, screen. We're good. All right. So let's say you call me, say, Chris, uh, we're interested in peer log logic. You get signed up. If you do want new phones, our typical onboarding is under two weeks. It happens really quickly. Um, if you don't, we can link to your existing VoIP provider and everything you see here we can do. So this is your first page, your main dashboard. Very simple. Hey, how many calls did I get? How many did I answer? How many did I miss? How many people left voicemail? You can break it down by day. Not rocket science here, but our average practice misses 35% of their calls. Typically, that's one of the things we recommend. Like, hey, there's something going on here. And a lot of practices don't even know that. So that's kind of like awakening number one is like, wow, I'm missing a lot of calls. Now, secondly, what I always show first is our alerts package. So this is what I was talking about earlier. When I miss a call, our algorithm is able to identify which of those calls is a high value new patient call. We flag them here. We show all miss. We can tell, so the cool part is our algorithm gets smarter over time, where we can tell based on the call, the time that they called and if they have an appointment or are an existing patient, what we think they were calling for. So in this practice, high value calls, 108, you're gonna follow up with them right away. Rapid response, get them. We think one was a cancellation, 13 are existing patients, 25 are business numbers. Scrub the business numbers. The cool part here is we track your follow-ups through our tool automatically. You don't have to do anything. So one of, the, one of the things I love, I'll give a good example here. This practice on 613 uh, missed the call at 311. They followed back at 320, nine minutes later, pretty good. I'd say you gotta be a little quicker, but it booked. Second call, 616, called back at 6, 621, still not booked. Third call, 621, 1230, called back two hours later, an hour and a half later, still not booked. So we see this time and time again, getting that patient fast, Speed is the name of the game. Even this practice is a 33% conversion rate for calling those people back, which if I'm booking one out of every three I'm calling, I'll take that all day. We typically see if you get them fast, you're getting 50, 60, 70%. So really cool well, to streamline and focus on it. To that point, I mean, if you miss one call a day and that one call was a new patient, a, a patient needing a crown, somebody with a broke tooth emergency and we'd lose that you know, you're looking there at a revenue recovered of 1200, you know, it could easily be $500 a call. Yep. You, know, you might have to kiss a lot of toads, like you had a lot of business calls, but eventually, you know, it, it's that one that you can't afford to miss, right? That's it. And, and a lot of those calls we see are like, hey, I, uh, my filling fell out, I got a lot of pain, or I've cracked a tooth. And, and we do see a lot of those missed calls. And then when they do pick up, typically, we'll see like, oh, well, we're not, we're booked out for 30 days. Like, and that patient just goes somewhere else. So there's, there's a lot of just high value missed calls floating out there. And again, speed's the name of the game. But in this case, practice gets an alert, patient gets an alert. They're not going to number two or three. They're going to book right away. They called that practice for a reason, whether it was a Google search or marketing, or they, it was a word of mouth, like they want to book there. Let's capture them. So that, that alert package, I quite frankly, we could probably sell on its own, but that's only one piece of the package you get with this whole AI platform. Okay. So go back to the main page. Now where the AI gets really cool, in my opinion, at least, is right now this practice answered 521 calls. You can see it's 521 number. AI uh, analyzes all those calls and, and believes that 82 of those calls should have 100% been revenue booking opportunities. 54 of those were existing patients, 28 were new, all done through AI, no human listening. If I'm on the positive side, want to train my staff, I can quickly get into these calls just by clicking this link. I'll show you what it looks in a second. Here's what good looks like. This practice actually converts at 84%. What I want to know now is here's what not good looks like. 
So out of those 521 answered calls, I can very easily get to 13 calls not booked. And I can see uh, what happened on those calls, why they didn't book. This is, I get asked a lot about call scoring. This is a much more palatable and easy way to do call scoring. It's not done by agent. It's not done by a script. This is where AI is smart enough to say, ideally that should have been booked. Take a look at it, flag it, see why it wasn't booked. So let's say I sign up Dr. Schwartz. My first recommendation to Dr. Schwartz, aside from the rapid response team, is click on these eight new patients. Here you can hit play to listen to the call. You can click on the call to see the transcription. You can see exactly what happened with insights and training notes. You can add notes, by the way, to train. You can see the call sentiment. So you can get to those calls really quickly and see what happened. So like if I'm an office manager or I am the doctor or whoever is managing this, all I have to do is hit this play button and I got it, or I can see a transcription. So right there is probably saving three to four hours a week just in listening to numbers of calls throughout, throughout the day or the week. So we can also track conversion over time, type of patient book, not booked. Like does that, ideally the red and the green would get smaller there, right? Cause you're doing better and you're getting better. Now, the other part I like is if you do have um, multiple offices, whether it's two, three, five, 10, you can track your practice compared to your other offices and in the industry, which are practices in our service. So there is a little bit of a comparison tool here where you know you can see, like, hey, is my new patient funnel or appointment scheduled at my one office better than my other offices? And this is all dummy data, so like this is you know this is a, this is a, a not actual numbers just for demonstration purposes, uh, which is why they're the same. But anything in here you can would obviously be real for your practice. Now past that, the win back opportunities is the second like usable one. Now these are new patients that called in where we AI thinks they should have been booked and they weren't. So you can click on this link to, to the not book to listen to them. And then what we're finding, and these are the patients, Kelly, you meant like, hey, um, I'm calling about the price of Invisalign. What do you guys charge? Okay, I'm going to go somewhere else. They're typically like patients that you could have won, you didn't, and they're in the wind. No one ever calls those patients back or tracks them. They're in the wind all the time. So here you know how many times that happens. But then by dialing that number, we consider that a win back attempt. And then we know if you've booked it. So this is where, like I mentioned earlier, 50 to 60% are being booked when they're actually calling for an extra touch point. So it's pretty crazy. Like our offices uh, will put it like an office manager or sometimes like a doctor calling back for a big case where they listen to these not booked. They say, oh man, that person was calling about cost of a crown. I think we can get them back. Someone calls them and you're winning them back a lot. So for my money, between the missed call alerts and these win back attempts, if you're not getting a minimum 10 to 15 new patients a month, just from those two, we're doing something wrong as a platform. The office isn't using it the way they're supposed to. So you can get to some pretty significant ROI really quickly here. Now, the cool part here is you can track booking trends over time. We can track by line. So like, hey, I want to know how this one line is doing in terms of conversion versus the other. So you can get in the weeds, um, you know, as much as you want by line. When you say uh, by line, so if I have a three line phone, whoever picks up line one, line two, line three, if it's assigned that way, but most offices are not, right? In it, in a perfect world, it'd be great. Now we know they float around. So the, <laughs> the aggregate is typically a bit more valuable, but you can track by line. Okay. Now, okay, great. We got the missed call alerts. We got the win back opportunities, super actionable, uh, you know, super, super uh, usable, right? Now the next part here is, okay, great. You gave me some insights. You gave me some people to follow up on, but I really want to know like, what's the pipeline? What's going on in my office? So here's where we can get some really cool things around. What are they calling for? Like, Hey, I know over the last 30 days, you know, existing patients are calling way more than new or Hey, we've seen we've seen an uptick in new patients. So, Chris, before you go too deep in this, this yep. is this performance board. Is this just missed calls, or is this also calls that we answer? This is everything answered right here. Okay. Yep. So, where I'm looking here, that we got five calls for Medicaid, or 16 for Delta, or 16 from Cigna. That's okay. from answered calls. We know that's part of the conversation. That's right. At some point in those 16 calls, someone said Delta Dental. So. We, you know, a lot of doctors, again, Kelly, you know better than me here, like they're evaluating what payers they're working with. Are they dropping them? Do they add new ones? 
here you can click into any of these and see like I, you know we have offices that will maybe add some because wow like i didn't know i was getting 30 calls on etna I, we don't even take so that. if i so if i clicked into let's just say medicare as an example oh so if i click in it takes me into all the calls that that was mentioned yep awesome yeah, so I don't know. Hey, what's going on with Delta? Like, we, or or same yeah. thing with Medicare, right? What's that's going great, on? That's great to know because how do we handle? You know, are we in network, out of network? That's a great training tool Dude. to see what we could be missing and what we could recapture. Yeah, we have a lot of docs that will go into like a med, like like Access Dental in Arizona is Medicaid. Like, hey, we don't take it, but like maybe we could have got some of those patients, right? Right. So we all, oh, it's there. all scripted. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You you got it. Now we can do call sentiment. Like call sentiment is, is a good tool. It's really like if something goes neutral or negative, it's bad. It's really bad. So if you have a disgruntled staff member, if something's going on in the office, you can flag that right away. Now, overwhelmingly, dental calls are positive. That's that's great. Staff, you know, staff are friendly, but we have had some occasions where like, ooh, let's flag that right away. And so if, a, so if one of my snap staff are a little short or snotty, the AI picks up on that. That's right. Yes. If it awesome. calls, again, it doesn't happen very often, which is great for the industry, but it will if it does happen, you know? Um, now, the other thing, like the cool part about Peer Logic is we can track outbound. So every other tool, like I said, like us, will only do inbound calls. Here, we see the most healthy practices, 30 to 40% are outbound. So if you get on our tool and like you have 5% outbound, they're probably not doing recall, recare. They're probably not calling open treatment. It's a big opportunity. So we're able to track everything on that outbound side as well. So, you know, that's part of big part of the systems that I teach. My other uh, Canada partner, Lucas, teaches uh, if I were working with, uh, you know, Anna on working recall in outgoing calls, all part of this bundle, it will record and I'll be able to go to my outgoing calls specifically for recall or outgoing calls specifically for treatment. And I could hear what she's saying on the phone when she's making the calls as well. I'm going to show you that next. I think you will wow. love it. But yes, in two under two clicks, typically wow. you can find all those. Yep. Mind um, blown. Very impressed. Now we have offices where they log this in and they're missing sixty percent of calls, and they're doing five percent outbound, and they're you know their head pops off, right? Uh, but again, that that's our goal is to get you the data to to provide valuable insights where you can change some things. Um, you can see procedures mentioned over time. Like a lot of docs start doing implants, for example. D does their implant mention rate go up, right? So it's cool to know like, hey, this maybe this office doesn't do implants, but they've had 24 mentions in the last 30 days. That's that's close to one. If you take out weekends, that's one a day. Like maybe we should think about that or bring in a specialist or whatever it may be. So you can really get some good insights from this page. Call purpose. Like we, we, we work with a lot of companies that do you know online scheduling and texting. We have, we have offices where rescheduling calls are three times more than their new appointment calls. So their staff is literally just rescheduling patients all day. Great opportunity to work with like a Modento from Dental Intel and, you know, reschedule them. So uh, again, you're finding opportunities across the board with this. Now, the, 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 the last part that I love, which is kind of like icing on the cake for us when we go through this with offices, is this is called Call Explorer. So to your question, Kelly, or earlier, this is where you can find any call, inbound and outbound, and typically two clicks or less. So I always like, just for fun, I'll go, I want to know every time a crown was mentioned and we did not book. Boom. I've got, you know, what, what's that? Six calls right there where I can click into the list of them. On and, the flip side- And I, I can switch them. So- I saw that that was inbound, but I could also switch it. If we're calling to schedule a crown, we can schedule, flip it to outbound. There you go. On crown, wow. there's, there's, there's 30 there. So wow. interesting, right? Inbound, outbound, caller type, uh, went to voicemail, call connected, like call sentiment every time a neutral call. Uh, how about here? Like, I want to know um, every time someone, a big one is every time someone calls to cancel. Um, I, and, and, they, and they did not book or they did book. Let's see. So this one doesn't have any, which is kind of interesting, but you can pull everything there. Uh, inquiry pricing, like. Are pulls... you able to, on those purposes, are you able to like pick your own reasons or are these all general? Yeah, so right now, well, I'd say both. So right now they're general, but if you have one, our, you know, the beauty about us being a nimble startup is we can add them. So if, if, if you guys, if someone says, hey, I'd actually like to see this, it's pretty easy to add in, typically same day. 
I always okay. go implant. I want to know every time an implant was was mentioned and we did not book. Now I go, typically I'll go, uh, or sorry, I'm still in um, uh, outbound. Typically I'll go to the negative, which is bad, but a lot of office, we use this for the positive too. Like we know staffing's hard. There's a lot of turnover. Uh, hey, let like, could you imagine if you have a new staff member and I'm, hey, go here, pick three calls where a crown booked, pick three calls where an implant booked, pick three outbound calls where they booked, listen to those nine calls. They're going to get a really good gauge for what good looks like. So it's a big kind of, you know, office motivation one here as well in training. Um, you know, there's a lot of good, like, again, our hypothesis is that staff members are typically good at their job. They're just busy. So what can we do to take these things off their plate? Uh, Cause a lot of the calls we listen to are good. You know, they, they don't want to miss calls on purpose. It's just that they have other things going on. So Ultimately, at the end of the day, we want to streamline all these things so they can use AI to free themselves up to do things that really matter. So this, maybe I'm not thinking correctly, but does this then actually become the answering machine or does it listen to the voice going to the answering machine? So on, if you get our VoIP service, you get a transcription of the voicemails. In this tool here, we don't analyze voicemails. Uh, we, don't, we, don't, uh, we don't use AI on them. We, we probably could. Um, but you do get a full transcription of voicemail if you if you get our phones. Okay. Yeah. So I don't have like if I've got an old school answering machine or if I've got voicemail, it's just transcripting whatever is said going through. It, it doesn't yeah. become my answering machine. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we still have our own voice or we link with what they use because you still need that voice service answering sure. machine. This this easy way to think about this is it can analyze missed calls based on our algorithm and then everything you saw past that is all when they pick up because we want to know what happens when they pick up. Okay. Now the last part, I'll give a little sneak peek. So the sneak peek, actually, Kelly, everyone on this webinar, you can't talk about this because it's coming very soon, but we are very close to a marketing insights tab, which I think is going to be pretty cool where uh, we can track obviously what happens uh, with your leads, conversion rate, what happens, you can tie it to Google search, AdWords. This is not new in the market, but we do believe uh, you know, we can add an AI element to this where you can see what happened on that call. You can track it, did they book, did they not? And that's the cool part here is a lot of places we talk to, they're paying one service for phones, they're paying one service for analytics, they're paying one service for patient engagement, they're paying one service um, for marketing insights. Like We can tell you now what happens on all those in one tool. So you know, if if, most offices we work with, if they pay someone a few hundred dollars a month for a marketing tool, pretty quickly here, they're going to be able to lose that and they can just get that in our package. Uh, so they can, you know, they can see 100% of what's happening on every call. So for those of you who don't know, we're working with a, a marketing group out of Toronto, Lucas uh, Kowalewski, who's on this call or on this webinar with us. But Lucas is doing some incredible stuff with his website and SEO Many of my clients have switched over to Lucas from their website. Um, great analytics, great numbers. I know Lucas understands DI, understands this with Peer Logic. So this is where he's going to be able to add value to you as well by having these numbers, analytics. We're going to be able to really show you uh, the old art of SEO will have a true meaning with if you add this little tool to your tool belt. So good to, good to know, Chris. That's awesome. Yeah, and and you know, Lucas and I, hopefully we'll start working together even more, but it's a, it's a great, uh, it's a great tool. So just to, like, I, I know like this is a lot, right? It, I talk about it all day, but seeing it first, like the, I always sum it up fully AI automated train on dental calls. Second is those missed call alerts, like easiest pathway to ROI, rapid response team on the alerts. Third is when AI identifies what should have been booked, listen to them and follow up. Now it's not going to be a hundred percent, you may listen to call, but like, nah, I, I don't think we can win that one back. Odds are you can. And then lastly is that call explorer where you can find any call in your practice. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's a holistic view of what's happening on the phones in your offices. So, you know, a lot of my clients, you know, everybody on this call for the most part has dental intel. Uh, the majority, if not all have local med online scheduling. A lot of them have Medento because they're bundled. And we're all getting a little bit, you know, there's, there's subscription fatigue, right? They're paying a hundred bucks here, hundred bucks there. Brass tax. What, what did the product and the services cost? And what about phones? Because a lot of people are tied to weave as an example, because they provide their phones 
but they don't need their services. They, they, that was the only player in the game, right. but I understand now you guys have phones and yeah. your services. So talk to me about what uh, I, I want to, I'm going to work you over for a little bit of Schwartz consulting group special yeah. pricing, but what's it take to get on board? Is there startup costs? Are there contracts? Walk us through, or if you can show us the logistics of that, I'd appreciate it. Yeah. So the easy part is, well, so we've all like personally, I've been in dental a long time. And to your point, Kelly, what we didn't want to do is charge per line and charge per usage. And the more you do, the more you pay. And if you coach, then you pay more. Like right. we want easy, easy to work with is the name of the game. So flat monthly fee. Uh Kelly has already negotiated an amazing price, <laughs> which is about a hundred dollars off our list price. So anyone on this call, please don't share it. But for everything you saw today, uh, with our phones included. Uh, unlimited lines, unlimited users. We do provide five free phones. And then anyone above five at cost, we provide phones. So we make zero money on our VoIP service. Uh, two forty nine dollars a month. That's it. Everything That's for said, everything? Okay. Yep. You have a slide to that? I mean, you're being recorded, so I got proof. But so two forty nine. dollars So what if I don't need phones? Uh, same price. We just, we just lock it in. Uh, if you don't need phones... Uh, we can, we can, if you own your phones, we can just slide them over, but we just did an all inclusive price phones. Are no, so are in most situations, regardless of their phone numbers, this works with those phones. Yep. Our yep. phone numbers. So 249. So, you know, I don't want to sell your product, if you will, but if I were to miss just or recapture, let's just say one phone call a month, right. I'm going to pay for itself. I'm going to have insight of learning. If I'm picking up three or four or five calls a week, I mean, I'm getting like a five, 10 X return. Is that what kind of return are you typically seeing? You're not, if I would say, if we're not making this up, if we're not making up just your cost in the first morning, we've done something wrong. And then if we're not hitting 10 X easily, we've done something wrong. Kick us out of your practice. We, we haven't proved it, but if we're not getting minimum 10x, then something something went wrong throughout the process. <laughs> so with that 250 price, am I under contract? So if I use you for two months and you suck, can I fire you and not under contract? <laughs> so with phones, we typically do a 12 month contract just because it's we port the numbers over. It's a lot of work. We provide the free phones. If you, AI, if you get AI only, we're open. Like we have a lot of offices. Like Chris, I love it. Like. Just give me some time to prove it out. Give me like 30 days and we'll take that all day. We know we can prove it. And typically in those situations, we find after like five days, it's like, all right, you know, we're, we're good. So we're a startup. We know the dental world. There's nothing more that dentists hate than long-term contracts, tricky pricing. Like we wanted to eliminate all that. So let's say, Kelly, you're like, I want to sign up today, $249 a month. You will not pay more than that. There's no hidden anything. That's it. All right. Yeah. So my client, so- client of mine, existing client of mine, uh, using Dental Intel or, or Local Med, any of our products, or they're just a friend and, and not, they can do 30 days, 249 if there's no phones to switch over, give it a test run. If they don't like it or they're not using it or they don't see a value, no no harm, no foul, thank you. But if they do switch over to phones, it's 249 they get the services, use it or don't use it, but they're locked in at 249 phones only for at least 12 months, whether they use the service or not. So it's no different. That That's a pretty damn good deal. I mean, it's been going like gangbusters. And I, and I will say like, this is not a sales tactic. Like it's, it's we, we've gotten a lot of really good feedback and, and based on the ROI we're seeing, like these prices will probably go up, but like we can lock people in now. Like it's, it's now is the time to get in. Let's put it that way. <laughs> well, you know, I've, that's why I've invited you in. I might, might, my friends and clients know I'm not going to put something in front of them that isn't proven and working. I've done my homework on you guys. I know you guys are a solid company. You're uh, in, endorsed if, at minimum by Dental Intel, which is great. You know, our products work well together. You know, it's fantastic. So I'm excited to offer this to our clients. Right. Chris, what else do we need to know? And how do we how do my clients get a short demo with you or get their team in front of you? What do we need to do to get started? How do we contact you? I would say first, uh, just thanks to you, Kelly, Lucas, for having me on. And, and the office is watching this. Kelly is amazing to work with. He and, and when he says he vets you, he vets you and he negotiates 
he plays hardball. So he he is really doing his work for you. Secondly, super easy. Chris at purelogic.com. P-E-E-R. Do you have a slide, Chris? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, man, rookie move. Rookie move, rookie move there. But Chris, right, go ahead. Give, give your account. number. 860-614-3000. Uh, actually, I might hold on. Let me check here. It might be at the end of this one. Uh, no, it's not. Sorry. All right. So I'll I'll make sure I get it. I'll put an email out to everybody with this link. They can email or call you. Two forty nine yeah. a month. Okay. Yeah. So Chris, know, Chris at Keep it simple. Yeah. So I know Dr. Bannock, who's like my little brother, is on this call. He will. Uh, he'll be calling you because I'm going to make him do it. So. I, I see you out there, Dr. Ron. <laughs> All right. Anything else we need to know? Luke? Love it. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Your birthday today? Uh, yesterday. Oh, happy birthday. He, he called me. Thank you. All right. Lucas, do you have any questions? Because I, I mean, from a marketing standpoint, I know this could be huge for you and your clients as well. I know. Uh, it's just mind blowing. Um like we are just using tools to record the inbound calls, but having outbound link to it together is just a game changer. So uh, outstanding, outstanding stuff. Yeah, this is great stuff, Chris. Yeah, um, I think yeah, I think I think that's good, uh, Chris at PeerLogic.com. I can I can uh, you know we'll we'll get out to you and and on. I guess Kelly, you asked about onboarding. I kind of skipped that one. Super easy. We have a dedicated customer success team, but make it very painless. Like we know the last thing on earth any dental office wants is for like phones not to be answering. So we we have a very strict process where that's never happening. So we we we're very tight on the back end too. So there's a couple companies out there, not mentioning names, that internet speed and things of that nature were causing their VoIP phones to go down, um, or it would be shorted out for a day or two or three. Tell me a little bit about any of those kind of issues. Have you had any, any uh, of that? Kelly, how about that right there? <laughs> oh, there, there you go. Uh, no, so we've never had an outage. Never had an outage. Uh, our VoIP service is really best in class. Our CEO is a network engineer. That's what we started as. So we've never had downtime, never had an outage. Um, it's, so it doesn't have anything to do with their internet on their end or their landline, their internet speed or any of that stuff that should be an issue? No, like it's very minimal internet requires for requirements for this to work. So no, it, again, we, we work with companies all over the, or offices all over the country that have not awesome internet and uh, we've never had an outage. So. Okay. So any other questions from anybody? Feel free to text me, uh, email me. If, if anyone wants a demo, we're happy to hop on and walk you through the tool. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, Chris, can you stop sharing screen? Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, so anybody who wants more information, uh, feel free to give me a call. Um, we'll be happy to take care of you and get you set up. We'll put you in touch with Chris. We'll put the email and everything together. You'll probably already have it in this email if you're watching the video. And uh we look forward to hearing some of these calls and using it to coach offices to a new level. I mean, this, this is some great stuff. And again, I know 250 a month is another subscription, but uh, for those still listening, anything that gives you an ROI of one, two, three, or four, I'll give you 50 bucks all day. If you're going to give me a hundred back, you know? <laughs> so I, I just, I just can't see not investing in the training of my team with the phones the ability to capture missed calls, especially nights and weekends. And being that a lot of offices are short staffed, doesn't mean we have to be short serviced. We might not get your call right now, but if I know I can call this call versus that call and have a better ROI, that's just making good choices. And I think that's a imperative with the short staffing that a lot of offices are experiencing. Can I steal that saying? That's a good one right there. I, Absolutely. I, trade, sure. I don't Staff, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. Um, and we hope you get a bunch of phone calls. Tell them that you're with Kelly Schwartz or with Lucas. Um, Lucas will send this out to his clients as well. 
And uh, we hope to be helping a lot of practices with this service. Thanks, everyone. All right. Anything else? All right, everybody. Have a great night. Thank you for your time.